Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Informatica World 2017. Brought to you by Informatica. Okay, welcome back everyone live here with theCUBE coverage, exclusive coverage for Informatica's event, Informatica World 2017. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. My co-host this week is Peter Burris, General Manager of Wikibon Research, wikibon.com. Our next guest is Rodney Foreman, Senior Vice President of Partner Ecosystem at Informatica. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you for having me. So, um, like the cloud, like data, ecosystem, partner ecosystem right now is one of the hottest areas in the build out within the supplier base for customer delivery of value. And we're seeing right. the channels change, the products change, and certainly with Data 3.0 and Claire, you, you're seeing an opportunity, it's almost a fertile ground of, right. of developing partnerships and extending existing ones, creating new ones. Informatica, well poised. Yes. What's the strategy, what's the plan, what's, give us the update on the ecosystem and, and what the plans are. So, um, we realize that in order for us to reach all aspects of the market, in mid-market, enterprise, um, that it's important for us to have a strong network of partners. And that includes the largest global SIs that you see many sponsoring this event, uh, Wipro, Deloitte, Accenture, uh, Cognizance of, of the world, as well as resellers, um, as well, some of the largest resellers now are starting to um, um, sign on with our uh, new channel program, which we just introduced in January. Um, and we're seeing uh, a lot of new opportunity and a lot of new customers uh, that have not uh, bought Informatica before uh, that we're now selling to and reaching through you know, the reseller network. And then we also have um, our ISVs, which are um, you know, signing OEM mm -hmm. agreements and incorporating our technology and their solutions. Uh, to sell to the market, so it's another type of partner you know, that we have. And then also uh, a number of MSPs who are providing value add around our technology and delivering complete yeah. solutions to the market yeah. are also helping extend our market reach. Yeah. And it's, it's really about customer buying patterns today. Yeah. Customers are buying from partners because they can deliver an end-to-end -end solution. And for wrap them. services around it as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's talk about that because this becomes a really a dream for a partner uh, and a supplier like Informatica. Um, Jerry Held, your board member, was on uh, this morning or with us earlier. He talked about data being the heartbeat. Right. But yet data is so pervasive. Right. Um, you could have levels of, of expertise, a heart surgeon. Um, you know, call in doctor, hygiene, dental, right. dental <laughs> hygienist, if you will, for you know, data hygienist. All kinds of data touch points in an organization. So how do you go out there and develop that channel? Is there a strategy around identifying certain uh, partners that are just in a whole different class, have expertise uh, than others? Because some might touch data differently, but right. data certainly is going to be robust. Yeah, what I'm finding where partners are having the most success for us right now is they develop a, a solution around a particular vertical and let's say healthcare, for example. So they'll specialize in data management for healthcare organizations and go to market with that. They'll, you know, we've got partners that have had some key wins with some very large um, healthcare companies and it snowballs and they tend to stay there. So especially, specialties are okay. Oh, absolutely. Oh, essential. That's vertical yeah. markets, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah that's absolutely. A, but that's the beauty of software and the beauty of this data focus, right. is that if you have the chops right. to deal with data and deal yeah. with software, and you're a reseller, right. then you can do enormous, right. in, in incredibly impressive yep. customization and refinement of a solution for your customers. Yeah, well, and one of the best kept secrets of Informatica is that we have an incredible data security product, but our sales team sells data management. They don't sell data security. Who sells data security very well? Partners. So we were, we're finding a network of partners that love our data security product. They see the, the engine behind it, which mm -hmm. came from our other products, which does uh, great data discovery. And then we coupled that with an outstanding user interface and then our data masking capability so that when you find a security vulnerability, you can do something with it. And we have partners that are 
um, just you know, doing very light touch POCs and very quickly the, the customers get it. They say, look, I understand that I've been focused on protecting the perimeter. Yeah. I need to secure at the source, oh, which true. is the name of the product, <laughs> secure at source. I need to secure at the data. And we're finding partners that are security focused are yeah. very, very good at selling that product and have the relationships we need to get to the CSOs, et cetera, to sell much better than our direct team. And so we're finding that partners are, are again, penetrating the market yeah. in areas that we haven't before yeah. because of their capabilities I mean, and skills. Rodney, the key about partners is they're also the canary in the coal mine because they're closer to the customer. Sure. But they're also um, always striving to be relevant and they're going to make the right choice on behalf of the customer. Most of them have multiple vendors in there that they're supporting. Right. So I got to ask you, as Informatica um, lead executive of the channel, they all want to be relevant. So what's your message when you say Informatica can make you relevant to the customers in the fill in the blank? Y yeah, well what we tell them is we're your competitive di differentiator. I mean you've got a, an offering where you're trying to take customers to the cloud, for example. Well, that, that solution has to include data integration, both on-prem and, and cloud, and it's got to work together. I mean, we have partners that actually um, are very successful just focusing in on customers that are implementing Salesforce. And they go into the customer and say, You're, you've got sources of data that will field, feed Salesforce. You've got to bring all that together. How are you going to do it? and they say that's a huge challenge for us, right? And they solve that problem using our technology. And, and partners have built <coughs> businesses just around that. So the relevance is you can make them more competitive vis-a-vis -vis other, other partners. Exactly. Well, let me try this on, because I think it's a great question, John, and, and, and let me see if, if you agree with this, uh, Rodney, that, that the digital world is predicated in the idea that data is a strategic asset. Correct. You guys are in a position to provide tooling that allows your partners to start talking about, for their entire mass of potential customers, right. what it means for their customers to start to move into a digital world. Exactly. Is that really kind of what you're saying? You're saying, look, yeah. your customers are going to want to go here. They may not know, not a lot of people know how to do this. Here's a toolkit that you can start to master, yeah. so your customers can start to master, and use that to move into this new era. Yeah, absolutely. Is that kind of the story? Yeah, uh, I just had a, I'll give you an example. Uh, I just had an, a, meet, a meeting at Microsoft where- Who? <laughs> Never heard of him. A little, a little company called Microsoft. <laughs> uh, Talk about relevance, okay, Nicole, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. And uh, the focus was around the solutions that global system integrators have built uh, um, on Azure. Hmm. And we did an, an inventory of those solutions and we looked at um, that inventory from a perspective of which solutions need our technology, which solutions need data management, data integration, data quality, things we're good at. And about half of those, half of the inventory of those solutions that these SIs have built need our technology and add value to those solutions they're taking to market and make them more competitive, which benefits Microsoft because it drives data and compute consumption for these solutions. And so now, these SIs are saying, we're just going to embed that um, technology from Informa Informatica in these Azure-based solutions so we can sell more. And we're doing the same thing with AWS, same thing with Google as well. And the multi-cloud multi message that's happening, you're starting to see multi-cloud really kind of be the new vision, but it really right. is where hybrid will go. Oh, absolutely. Hybrid cloud is certainly legit today and hardcore architectural stuff's being worked on. Right. But the interesting thing is that is let's see how customers are handling their data. Right. And it's not, they're not picking one cloud for their data. There's no data cloud. No. It's data everywhere strategy. And you guys certainly agree with that with Informatica. What's your advice to the channel partners as they prepare? Again, back to my you know, uh, tiering. You got a heart, heart surgeon. Right. You have other specialties right. out there. How do you guys look at that? Do you guys have different programs, You certification? I mean, how is Informatica dealing with yeah, the so, breadth of channel? Yeah, so since I've joined, um, we've implemented a new channel program so that partners can Im invest in Informatica and build a business around us that is consistent and competitive in the, in the market. 
And then we also have implemented yeah. an authorization and certification program. We didn't have one before. You could be Bob's bait shop one day and sell Informatica the next. And that's not what we wanted. Yeah. We want skilled partners that know um, our technology that um, can drive successful yeah. customer implementations and adoption. And the ones that get behind it. you guys too, you want to reward as well. Exactly, so we've implemented a new uh, authorization program um, and we're providing yeah. the enablement partners need to be yeah. successful with our products. And it also drives um, trust of the customer and then trust yeah. of our sales team. Yeah. Because now we're comp neutral with our sales team and they're using the, sa the partners as an yeah. extension of, their, of the sales team to penetrate the market and cover yeah. their territory. I always say to my kid, my daughter plays soccer, I always say to my daughter, oh, it's soccer, it's just easy, just put the ball on the net, it's right. just, that is not that easy. So I always say to Peter, <laughs> so, so business, said a football yeah, yeah, fan. <laughs> so, so, so I say to Peter all the time, oh, the channel business is so easy, just make the product really good and make him a lot of cash for the partner, right. and right. things will just balance themselves out. Yeah. Again, not that easy, sounds easy on paper, make a great product, make it yeah. incented, and then make them make profitability is really what channel partners love, right? I mean, so it sounds easy, but how do you guys get there? Well, um, one thing we've put a lot of investment in, obviously, here is around marketing. So, we, there was no concept at Informatica of a ready-to-execute marketing campaign or, that a partner could run. Now we have those. And so um, we're actually helping partners with their own digital transformation to go to market with Informatica. But getting the Informatica name out is going to make customers more excited about Informatica and bias, potentially yeah. bias people towards Informatica exactly. relative to all the different options they're going to have in Agreed. the cloud, yeah. which is only going to make partner, partners more excited about Informatica. Right. They can wrap services around so they get more Absolutely. cash on the product Absolutely. sales, but yeah. they can add 100% gross profit services. Yeah, that's yeah, well, it a great a, services it, opportunity. It raises a really, yeah. really interesting, at least to me anyway, a really interesting question, and that is, um, as your partners move not only licensed software, but also cloud instances, either in subscription or pay-as-you-go kinds of notions, right. your partners are also going to find that their customers have a much more complex arrangement oh, of sure. implementations. Yeah. So your partners might be some of your best customers for Informatica technology. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we, we have a partner now, actually, that we're selling to to transform their own environment. Um, and there's, I believe there's going to be more and more examples of that, just, to, just as you said. Yeah, uh, and once they get invested in it for their own business, yeah. it makes it a lot easier for them to sell to other people's oh. businesses. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, All right, absolutely. final question. What's your uh, day one, we got to tomorrow, you were at the analyst that show yesterday. Guys, quick summary, yeah. what, what's this, the vibe so far? Obviously, Informatica, well positioned. Yeah. Um, what's, what's your take on the show so well, far? I, I was in the analyst briefing yesterday and I met with a number of, of analysts um, and coming from, from IBM, um, I've never seen this level of, of, of excitement around what we're introducing in the way of the brand and messaging, how we're transforming the, the channel business uh, and involving partners. I mean, you see all the partners that are involved in this in this show, and they're extremely excited. Um, the analysts um, just seem to be um, finding um, new ways that we are leveraging our technology to make customers successful. I mean, we we talked about uh, when I met with analysts, I talked about a number of partner and customer success stories, and those use cases were just very eye-opening for the analyst, and it, it really seems like we've got a um, even more of a buzz than we've had uh, with the analyst because of the of what partner, we're announcing. Partner uh, event coming on the horizon. You yep. always have the partner kickoffs. I know that was in January, was it? I think. Or right. Yeah, we made partners uh, a part of our sales kickoff, just like they were part of our sales team, and we had a record number of partners at sales kickoff. We've got in July our uh, partner elevate event coming up in Frankfurt for all our uh, Europe partners. And right now our registrations are at a, at a level where we're now trying
trying to figure out if we have a big enough. You got to turn partners away. They're so busy. They got to turn people yeah. away. Yeah. Well, we did at sales <laughs> kickoff. We had to turn some partners away because we went over capacity. You uh, need the cube there. Right. So yeah. More exactly. partners can participate. You need a bigger, bigger it, boat, as they say. Exactly. Um, but no, it's it's very very exciting. The partners are are excited. There's a lot of market opportunity for yeah. the partners, and with our new channel program and what we're doing around skills and enablement and all the marketing. It's fa a fantastic opportunity. Well, yes, you know, we've been chronicalizing the, the vision and the journey of in, the yes. new Informatica. It's been great to see, and again, channel, channel strategy, have a great product, enable them with incentives, yep. uh, some air cover, and make them some cash uh, right. and, and help serve customers. Yeah, we want to make it a win-win <laughs> for our partners and Informatica. Not all of them are greedy, but at the end of the day, performance <laughs> and profitability, money, yeah, they're in the business. Yeah, right. What's in it for me? I'm a partner. What are you exactly. going to do for me? Hey, they're, you know? they're, they're scared about their own customer transitions. <laughs> right. This can help. Yeah, yeah. Thanks absolutely. so much, Roddy, for sharing the insight. No, thank you again. very much. Seasoned veteran in, in the channel ecosystem business. It's the Cube bringing you all the action here in San Francisco for Informatica World 2017. I'm John Furrier, Peter Barris. Stay with us more after this short break. <laughs>